If you've ever walked into a casino, it might seem like a fairly straightforward operation. Lots and lots of flashing lights and Candy Crush sound effects. You stick a couple bucks into a slot machine, you hope it spits out thousands of dollars, or you throw down some chips on the craps table and pray that the dice stay hot. Simple, right? No! As it turns out, the level of technology you interact with inside a gaming establishment is among the most sophisticated anywhere. And it probably shouldn't be that surprising given how much money is constantly churning through a casino. Basically, the moment you set foot inside, it goes to work. You see, many casinos keep databases on specific people card counters, people who have been caught stealing, or maybe even just that guy, yes you Kevin, who had too many free cocktails and decided to use the potted plant in the corner as a urinal. And they achieved this by using biometric scanning to capture an image of your face when you walk in the door to compare you against a database of undesirables. But let's say you've never tried to pull off an Ocean's Eleven style heist. So security leaves you alone and you make your way over to a slot machine. Well, it used to be that you would pull down the arm, cross your fingers, and hope that when the mechanical reels stopped spinning a bunch of fruit or something would line up. But these days, the attention grabbing graphics are just for show. Slot machines determine if you've won or lost almost immediately after you press spin using a pseudo random number generator that awards prizes based on pre-programmed pay tables that are spitting out numbers at a rate of hundreds per second. By design, they occasionally award big jackpots that allow the casino to entice others in with dreams of striking it rich while also preventing frequent gamblers from being able to figure out when a machine is hot to keep payouts tight. This is critical because over two thirds of the average casino's revenue comes from slot machines. So, being a savvy gambler then, you give up on the slots and go set some money down on the blackjack table instead, where the dealer hands you a stack of chips. Now these might seem like mere pieces of plastic, but the chips actually contain more chips. RFID chips, that is. They contain serial numbers that are scanned, both at the tables, as well as when you take them to the cashier. This prevents people from trying to cash counterfeit chips and also protects the casino in cases where authentic ones get stolen. One miscreant lifted $1.5 million in chips from the Bellagio in Las Vegas back in 2010. So the casino simply invalidated their RFID tags. So the dude ended up going to prison for stealing what were essentially a bunch of worthless Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I almost feel bad for him. And for yet another layer of security, chips can also contain special UV inlays that only show up under a black light, similar to features found in modern currency, which you can learn more about here. And chips aren't the only little handheld items at casinos with baked in protection. The playing cards can have barcodes printed on them with invisible ink. These are scanned when the dealer clears them off the table. So the odds are that if you're trying to use sleight of hand to switch cards, you're gonna end up with a date with mm -hmm. Big Kim. But you're an honest player. And besides, surely you wouldn't think of trying to cheat with all of those cameras on the ceiling anyway. And that would probably be wise. Although some of them are just regular surveillance cameras, others are actually connected to systems that can recognize which cards are dealt, betting patterns, and even wins and losses for each player at the table. So, because long-term trends in casino games are rather predictable, these cameras can help casinos pick up on the abnormal patterns that occur when someone might be counting cards, trying to perform trickery with their chips, or colluding with a dealer or another player to cheat. 
Now, of course, not all casino technology is security related. You know that player's club card they give you for free that you've been inserting into slot machines, handing to dealers, and even showing at the cocktail bar? Although they track how much you're spending so they can give you comps and discounts, they also use that data to build a detailed picture of what your favorite games are, how much you've won or lost, whether you're a skilled player, and even which casino restaurants you're eating at in order to offer you perks that will lure you back to the casino and entice you to keep gambling especially if their algorithms think that the casino can suck lots of money out of you in the future. So if you won big on your last trip to Vegas, be wary of any special offers you get that are designed to get you to hand all of that money right back. But feel free to go crazy with that two-for-one buffet coupon. That one's okay. Speaking of buffets, do you find yourself with too much on your plate as a small business owner or freelancer? Well, FreshBooks is the way to get yourself organized so that you can be more productive and get paid faster. With FreshBooks, you can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can track your expenses. In fact, they've got the whole functionality of the platform on their mobile version, which is super cool. Throughout the day, just by taking pictures, you can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. And you can see when your clients have seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, all you gotta do is go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie. We've got that linked below. And enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, and don't forget to subscribe. And more than just don't forget, you might have remembered and simply not done it. The point is to do it.